Once upon a time, in the vast landscapes of western Eurasia during the mid-middle Pleistocene, a group of extraordinary beings roamed the earth, the Neanderthals. These now extinct fossil humans shared their stage with the first modern humans who arrived in Europe around 45,000 years ago. Picture a world where ice sheets advanced and retreated unpredictably, creating a challenging environment. In this backdrop, the Neanderthals thrived, adapting well to the ever-changing climate. With a robust and stocky build, the Neanderthals were both sturdy and powerful. Their large brains endowed them with the ability to hunt formidable creatures of the Ice Age, such as mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses. They were a highly successful group, navigating through the challenges presented by their environment. Our connection to the Neanderthals goes beyond mere coexistence. We share a common ancestor with them, dating back to Africa around 550,000 to 750,000 years ago. As modern humans and Neanderthals coexisted in Europe, they competed for resources but also engaged in interbreeding. This interaction left a lasting genetic impact, visible in our DNA today. Another branch of humanity, the Denisovan, shares an even closer link to the Neanderthals. These sister groups diverged from a common ancestor over 390,000 years ago, possibly between 430,000 to 473,000 years ago. The Denisovan, known from the Denisova Cave in the Altai Mountains in Siberia, interbred with Neanderthals as evidenced by a remarkable discovery in 2012 CE. A long bone fragment, dated to be between 80,000 and 120,000 years old, belonged to a female with a Neanderthal mother and a Denisovan father. This revelation exemplifies the intricate web of connections among different human species in our ancient history. The story of Neanderthals takes us back to the 19th century CE when the first fossils were unearthed. The Inge's child in 1830 CE and Forbes Quarry adult in 1848 CE were initially misunderstood, with their peculiar anatomy attributed to diseases like rickets. However, the turning point came in 1856 CE when a skeleton was discovered in the Neander Valley in Germany. Influenced by Charles Darwin's groundbreaking work on the origin of species, published in 1859 CE, researchers began unraveling the mystery. By 1864 CE, the enigmatic skeletons were officially classified as Homo neanderthalensis, and, as the story goes, their journey begins in the hazy corridors of time, between 600,000 and 400,000 years ago. Neanderthal-like traits gradually emerged, evolving over epochs until, between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago, their unique characteristics became clear and unmistakable. The iconic classic Neanderthals, with their defining features, emerged around 70,000 years ago. The roots of the Neanderthal story trace back to Africa, where a common ancestor, identified as Homo heidelbergensis or perhaps Homo antecessor, set the stage for the diversification of human species. A group of this common ancestor ventured into Europe, giving rise not only to the Neanderthals but also to their closely linked cousins, the Denisovan. This branching occurred over 390,000 years ago, a split in time that separates their evolutionary paths, perhaps between 430,000 to 473,000 years ago. Meanwhile, their kin who stayed in Africa, evolved into Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. The Neanderthals left their mark across a vast expanse, from Spain and the Mediterranean to Northern Europe, Russia, and the Near East, stretching as far east as Uzbekistan and Siberia. Their adaptability to the often harsh and cold climate of Ice Age Western Eurasia is reflected in their physical attributes, short and stocky, with Neanderthal men averaging around 169 cms and Neanderthal women around 160 cms, their sturdy build differed from the taller and lankier modern humans. Distinctive features such as heavy brow ridges, large faces with prominent noses, and the absence of a chin set Neanderthals apart, marking them as true survivors of their environment. Yet, beneath these differences, Neanderthals shared numerous features with modern humans. Their brains, encased in large skulls, surpassed even ours in size, a testament to their cognitive abilities. Despite the protruding faces of earlier archaic humans, Neanderthals exhibited a less pronounced facial projection. The differences in appearance, however, didn't stop at physical traits. Neanderthals likely boasted a range of hair and skin colors, with higher variability than their modern human counterparts. DNA from specimens in Italy and Spain suggests pale skin and red hair, 
while those from Vindija Croatia hint at darker skin and brown or red hair. This variability reflects the adaptability that allowed Neanderthals to brave the challenges of their environment, creating a mosaic of diversity in the ancient human family. And the fossil record, etched with the scars of their challenging lives, reveals a harsh reality. Almost every well-preserved adult skeleton bears the imprints of trauma, often clustered around the head or neck, battle scars perhaps, from close encounters with formidable prey. Yet, beneath the surface wounds, a testament to the interconnectedness of their society emerges. The majority of these injuries had healed, or were in the process of healing, evidence that Neanderthals, like a close-knit family, provided care and support, allowing their wounded members to rise again and face the challenges of the hunt. Life in the realm of Neanderthals was no walk in the park. Their average adult life expectancy remained remarkably low, a reflection of the physical toll and constant danger that defined their existence. The powerful build and the prevalence of trauma in their skeletons paint a vivid picture of active hunters. Their diet, predominantly carnivorous, featured herbivore meats from creatures like bison, wild cattle, reindeer, deer, ibex, and wild boar. Yet, in a daring feat, the Neanderthals also hunted the colossal woolly mammoths and rhinoceroses of the Ice Age, showcasing their prowess as skilled and coordinated hunters. Beyond the meat-heavy diet, evidence points to a significant plant component, including legumes, grasses, seeds, and fruits. Neanderthals, it seems, were culinary innovators, cooking their food and possibly even exploring the medicinal properties of plants. Tools, an extension of their survival prowess, were primarily associated with Mousterian lithic technology. Flint flakes metamorphosed into side scrapers, retouched points, and small hand axes, fashioned from locally available materials. Fire, a tool in their arsenal from at least 200,000 years ago, served multiple purposes, from birch bark pitch production to illuminating their living spaces. While not renowned builders of structures, Neanderthals left their mark on caves and natural shelters, where their fires burned and hearths played a central role. Traditionally deemed cognitively inferior to incoming modern humans, recent revelations have shattered this stereotype. Neanderthals were far from simple brutes, they displayed complexity in their actions. Coordinated hunting required effective communication, caring for the injured showcased compassion, and their mastery of fire and tool production highlighted their resourcefulness. Beyond the physical realm, Neanderthals exhibited cultural depth. They intentionally buried their dead, a practice that speaks of ritual and respect. In the dark recesses of Brunicol Cave in France, stalagmite rings dated to 176,500 years ago showcase planning and control, possibly hinting at symbolic use. Neanderthals left their artistic mark, perforating and coloring marine shells and using red ochre at Maastricht Belvedere around 200,000 to 250,000 years ago, aligning with the early use of ochre documented in the African record, and their disappearance remains a mystery. As the tides of time continued their relentless march around 55,000 years ago, a pivotal moment unfolded, a meeting between the wave of modern humans that had ventured out of Africa and the Neanderthals in the Near and Middle East. This encounter marked not the first exchange between the two species. Hints of genetic mingling surfaced roughly 100,000 years ago in the same region. However, it was the later event, around 55,000 years ago, that left the most enduring genetic mark on our species. From the Near East, modern humans embarked on a journey across Eurasia, reaching Europe around 45,000 years ago. They arrived in formidable numbers, both in group size and overall population density, casting a shadow on the already present Neanderthals. Suddenly, the Neanderthals found themselves facing intense competition for resources, a challenge that may have hastened their mysterious disappearance from the fossil record around 40,000 years ago. Beyond competition, the climate during this period played a pivotal role in the Neanderthals' fate. Unstable and unpredictable, the environmental shifts could have placed significant stress on their smaller population, rendering them vulnerable to the impact of the invading modern humans. However, the story doesn't end with mere competition and climate, there's another layer to this intricate narrative. Interbreeding, a complex dance between two species on the cusp of biological compatibility, played a crucial role. Modern humans, adapting to the colder European climate, received a genetic boost from Neanderthals. This genetic infusion influenced traits like skin color and hair, helping our ancestors thrive in their new environment. 
Today, non-African humans carry, on average, around 2% Neanderthal DNA, a testament to this ancient genetic union. Yet, this interbreeding was not without its challenges. Research suggests that the compatibility between the two groups was delicate, leading to decreased fertility and miscarriages when male babies inherited a Neanderthal Y chromosome. This could have diminished the overall Neanderthal genetic contribution. When coupled with the vast difference in population sizes between the two groups, a fascinating possibility arises. Perhaps the Neanderthals were partially absorbed into the expanding modern human population. The disappearance of the Neanderthals, therefore, emerges as a mystery from the threats of competition, environmental challenges, and the intricate dance of genetic exchange. Even as we delve into the details of the genetic influence they imparted upon us, the story of the Neanderthals remains an enigma, reminding us that the echoes of their existence are still with us, waiting to reveal more secrets from the depths of prehistory.